In this video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about the Husqvarna E-Series 440 X-Torque Chainsaw. I'm going to go over its features, the startup, as well as a little review at the end since I'm borrowing this from a friend since my still MS261CM is in the shop for repairs under warranty. This is not a safety video on how to safely use or start up a chainsaw. So what are my thoughts after using it for a weekend on my 8 acre wooded property? <laughs> I really like the fact that in the back here it has a clear strip for a visible area on the fuel tank so you can easily glance down at any given time to see how much fuel you have. And I love these pop-up caps. This one here is for the bar and chain oil. This is for the fuel. They simply pop up so you can easily grab it, twist it off, and then it has a little catch here so you don't lose it. But if you want to take it out, you can. It easily slides right back in place and then you can screw it right back on. Once you screw it on, Snap it back down and you're ready to go. The snap lock cylinder cover here easily pops off with the tool or flathead screwdriver that it gives you. That allows you to easily take the cover off here to clean it, access a spark plug, or take off your quick release air filter to clean and replace that. It pops right off and then it slides right back in, clips right on. And it also has a centrifugal air cleaning system that basically catches the larger debris and dust before it even hits your filter. So that'll help this to get less dirty. When you're done, the cover easily gets placed back on, push down, put a little pressure on each one of these, and they will snap right in. The felling lines on the saw run along here, the top, and then down the other side here. It has a spring in the back to help make a nice little suspension system to take away some of the vibration. I think the handle's pretty comfortable and it's pretty well balanced. The teeth here are pretty decent and the chain catcher, which is this silver piece here, will catch the chain in case it comes off. The X-Torque motor is designed to run more efficient to save you on fuel and have reduced emissions. It also has a three-piece crankshaft for durability. So their smart start system is designed to help it start quickly with minimal effort by having a short and easy pull as well as a primer button here and then a choke in the back. The way that it works is you're going to pull the choke in the back out, lift it to the number one position. You're going to prime it six times. When you're priming it, that's purging all of the air out of the carburetor and the fuel system to help it to easily start. After you do that, you're going to pull the cord once. Now before I do this, for all the safety guys out there, this is absolutely not a demonstration on how to safely or properly start a chainsaw because it should be done totally different and this is not being done in a safe manner. This is for demonstrational purposes only. We're going to pull it once. It's going to die down. We're going to drop it into the run position and then we're going to pull it again. done you just push the choke down and that's your kill switch to stop it. So what are my thoughts after using it for a weekend on my eight acre wooded property? Long story short, it got the job done. It handled everything I threw at it. It quickly and easily cut through all the smaller stuff like this, and it handled pretty much everything in between the small and the big. When it came to these bigger ones, like this here, it struggled a little bit and took a little longer, but in the end, it still got the job done. I went through quite a few tanks of fuel, I went through two chains, I took down four trees about 16 to 19 inches in diameter, as well as a couple out and end jobs on the property. It handled everything that I threw at it. It took care of everything I needed. So I really don't have any complaints. It's a good, decent saw. Uh, as far as compared to my still MS261CM, the fact that it's in the shop because of the electronic card, you know, that might say something. I will say I like the raw power a little bit more on that saw. 
It's a little bit more powerful, close to 10 cc. Uh, this is about 10 cc less. It has a .325 chain on it. This is a stock chain though. I have a much more aggressive chain and a little bit thicker of a chain as well as some more power. So I'm used to a lot more grip and pull. Um, but all said and done, I think this cut slightly slower, but not really that noticeably. Uh, that may have got it done quicker, I may have felt a little bit more raw power to it, it may have had a little more pull, a little more bite. Obviously it's a nicer pro saw, so you really can't compare the two. But as crazy as it sounds, coming from a pro saw and then going to something like this, I actually thought it was pretty decent. Now it did stall out on me a few times. I don't know if this is the saw's fault, because it could maybe been used a lot, it might need to have the carb cleaned or this or that, air filter, I didn't check it out too much. I just ran with my buddy's saw. I don't know if it was tuned, I don't know if it was tweaked, I don't know how much it was used, I really don't know any background on the saw. Stalled out on me quite a few times while I was out in the woods, but the great thing is, is within two pulls, every single time, it started right back up and it got the job done. And the only time that it stalled out was when I was done cutting and it was sitting at idle. It never stalled out on me while I was cutting or while I was doing any work on it. It only stalled out when I would let it sit in idle. But then when I was ready to use it again, within two pulls, every time started right back up. So it never left me hanging out to dry. It took care of everything I needed it to. And I was pretty impressed for uh, a saw like this compared to a pro grade saw. I think it definitely held its own. I don't think that it can necessarily compete with a bigger pro grade saw, but I think it's definitely handling its own and it's definitely doing everything it needed to do. And if this was the only saw that I had, I think it would do the job. If you like this video or if it helped you out, make sure to check out my other video on how to replace the bar and chain, as well as how to properly tension the chain. It shows how to do it on this chainsaw, but it can be applied to pretty much any other chainsaw as well.